Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to go through the Digital Peak Meter Pro from Blue Cat Audio. That's a pretty unique plugin for audio analysis, which lets you control and monitor your audio signal uh, pretty much exactly the way you want. So let's take a look, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the layout of Digital Peak Meter Pro. I uh, just want to make this completely clear. The Digital Peak Meter Pro doesn't make any sounds itself. It's only for monitoring of sounds. Uh, this can be particularly handy when you're working on a mix down or mastering and need to keep an eye on both the peak levels and the average levels so that you get a good idea of the overall dynamics of a track. There are three main sections to the tool. Starting here at the top, you have the main peak and RMS level meters. The peak meters are fairly self-explanatory in that they show you the peak levels of the audio and the RMS value is an average over time. I'm not going to go into too much detail about RMS but basically because a waveform goes into both positive and negative values the actual average level of a waveform would be zero so instead you have to square the numbers to make them all positive and then find the mean or average and then take the root of that number. So, if I play a single kick drum now, you'll see both the peak and the RMS reach their destination like this. But if I play a series of kicks, you'll see the RMS average out over time and climb up like this. The middle part of the VST here is the only place where you're going to find settings to adjust. Starting on the right here, you can adjust the attack of the meter, which controls the amount of time it takes for the meter to reach the full value. Uh, you can also adjust the hold time, which is the length of time the meter stays at the peak value, and then the release time, which is the time it takes for the meter to reset back to zero. Next to these, you can actually adjust the accuracy of the RMS value up to two seconds, which will give you a better idea of how much dynamic headroom there is in the signal. The next two dials control the length of time you want the peak meter at the top to hold the peak value for, and then the length of time you want the peak meter to reset itself. Then next to this is a switch for changing the analysis from a standard left-right recording situation to a mid-side recording situation. If you're not actually aware of what mid-side recording techniques are, then it's probably best just to leave this in the LR mode. The final set of dials to the right here are for controlling the envelope followers below. Here you can adjust the ratio of the peak and RMS values, and also the amount of transformed envelope that gets outputted along with the option to offset that value, and even reverse it using this button here. Then finally, the last thing I'll mention about this peak meter device is something that's not actually too obvious by looking at it. These output envelopes can actually be sent as MIDI values to another device in your system, which, depending on your needs, can be a really creative tool for anything from video and data manipulation to something more conventional such as sidechain compression. This is actually the first time I've known a digital meter to be able to output an envelope information as MIDI signals in real time, and I think this offers some really great scope for technically creative projects. So that's the Digital Peak Meter Pro VST from Blue Cat Audio, and it's available for both Mac and PC via pluginboutique.com. Uh, it's a really handy tool to have, especially when you're checking things out like the mono stereo compatibility of your audio, for example. Cheers, I'll see you soon.